Hi, this is Christy, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. I'm here to tell you about the email accounts interface. To send and receive email, you will need an email account. cPanel makes it easy to set up and manage your email accounts. If you'd like to see how to manage existing email accounts, we demonstrate that process in another video. I'll drop a link in the description below. Let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. Here we are in the cPanel interface. The Tools page is the default home page. From here, we can navigate to any feature cPanel offers. Let's go to the Email group and then click the Email Accounts icon. The Email Accounts interface will appear. Right now, the only account that appears in the table is the System User Email account. Think of this as the catch-all email. It's the default email address for your account, unless you change the default setting using the default address interface. I'll drop a link to our documentation if you want to know how to change that. Your default account will receive all the emails routed to your domain that don't exist or have been mistakenly entered. Let's make a new email account. Click the Create button. The Create an Email Account interface appears. In the Username text box, enter the email address you wish to create. I'm going to create an email account for someone named User. If you manage more than one domain, select the appropriate domain for this email account. I'm going to make this email on example.com. To set your password, you can either set a password now or send a login link to an alternate email address for the user to set their own password. First, let me show you how to set a password for the account. Enter a password in the password text box. The strength bar indicates the relative strength of the password that you entered. Oh, wonder what you typed in there? Click the eyeball button to reveal the password. Whew, I'm gonna hide it again. You can also click generate to have the system generate a strong password for you. Click the down arrow to configure some other options for the generated password minimum password length, uppercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Now I'll show you how to send a link to another email account for the user to set their own password. Select the Send Login link to alternate email. Enter an email address in the alternate email text box. This will send a link to an email address. The user can then click that link and set their own password. Hmm, what are optional settings? Well, I'm glad you asked. You don't need to touch these for your email to work. However, if you want more storage or need plus addressing options, here is where you're going to find them. Let's click Edit Settings and see what's available. First up, Storage Space. Let's set storage space for the account. This is how much mail and attachments the mailbox can store. You can enter a number and set the units of measurements, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, petabytes, or you can select unlimited. Do you want folders created for emails with plus addressing? If you click automatically create folders, when you receive an email that uses plus addressing and the folder does not already exist, the system will create a new folder for the message. The system will then deliver the message to that new folder. If you click do not automatically create folders, when you receive an email that uses plus addressing and the folder does not already exist, the system will not create a new folder. Instead, the system will deliver the message to your inbox. Want to know more about plus addressing? I'll drop a link in the description below. Do you want to send a welcome email with mail client configuration instructions? Select the checkbox. This will make it easier for the new user to access their mail. They can log into their account via webmail to get to their setup information. If you want to create another account, select the Stay on this page after I click Create checkbox. Finally, click Create to create the email account. A success message will appear once the account has been created. You are now ready to send and receive email. It's that simple. For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, Go to cPanel.net or follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Discord. Our username there is at cPanel. 
Let us know if you found this video helpful. Leave a comment and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this one. Thank you for watching.